There's a lot of power in our words. There's a lot of power in what we speak. We can hurt ourselves or others, or we can use our words to bless somebody. The book of Proverbs, a person's words can be life-giving water, words of true wisdom are as refreshing as a bubbling brook. And in today's video, we will see what is the meaning of the word, but especially the word of God. So are you all ready? Let's get started. Hey you all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ragini and I do upload faith-based videos twice a week. If you're one of those who loves hearing the word of God, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. That way you will get notified on time as soon as we upload new video every single day. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the word of God, which is the Holy Bible, the scriptures. The book of Proverbs says that a person's words can be life-giving water, life-giving water, the same as blessing. Words of true wisdom are a refreshing and bubbling brook. So these words of wisdom, life-giving words are beautiful in the eyes of God as well. Words have a lot of power, both negative and positive. We can hurt somebody with our words or we can love and bless somebody with our words. Do you all know that the entire universe was created or formed by our Lord through his word? The book of John chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. That's why the scriptures, the Holy Bible, is very, very important for us, all of us, to read and understand. In today's video, I'm not only going to share with you what the meaning of the word is, our words and God's word, but I also want to share with you all 10 different reasons on why should we be reading our Bible every single day. The Holy Bible is the God's plan to redeem His people. It reveals to us who God is and who we are in Christ, in God. Amen. If you are having any questions who God is and why there are so many religions and so many confusions, I pray and I ask you to open the Holy Bible and pray to our Lord Jesus who will guide you. The Holy Spirit will guide you. Amen. We also see that in the book of John chapter 1 verse 14 when John refers to Jesus as the Word. He speaks of the Word that was made flesh. The Word, God was made flesh, like human beings, like us, flesh, Christ and came to live among us. Christ lived among us. God lived among us, performed the miracles, taught us how to live. He fulfilled the law. He fulfilled the prophecies. And all that we have to do now is to believe in what Christ has done because we are not saved by our doings or works, but we are saved by the amazing grace of God through faith in Christ for what He has done. So here are 10 reasons why we should be reading the Word of God every single day. Number one, reading the Holy Bible shows us the character of God. If you want to know who God is, what he does, what he did, how he works or operates, you gotta know him. You gotta know his character. And how do you know his character? By reading his word, the Holy Bible, the scriptures. Only source for all your questions and answers about God is the word of God. Amen. Number two, the Holy Bible or the word of God helps us to move forward, to take another step on what God is wanting us to do. Amen. We also see that from the book of Psalms chapter 119 verse 11, where it says, I have hidden your word in my heart. That is David. I might not sin against you. So again, in the scripture, we see the word word. He has hidden the word of God in his heart so that he may not sin against him. Amen. Number three, another reason why we read the Holy Bible is because it helps us to renew our mind and so we can know the perfect will of God. Amen. The book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be yet transformed by renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what is God's will, his good, his pleasing and his perfect will. Amen. So by reading the word of God, we are not only knowing his character or nature, but we are also coming to know what is our next move as well as the word of God helps us to renew our mind. Number four, reading the Holy Bible keeps us away from our sins because that's when you realize what is sin 
and how to overcome sin through the blood of Jesus. Amen. When you read the word of God, you see so many examples of the prophets and disciples and God, Jesus speaking himself about about sin and how to overcome all these things. We are only saved by his grace. And also knowing that how we are saved is also by reading his word, right? So you are not saved by reading or doing things. But in order to be convicted, in order to be uh, aware of how God's nature is, how he moves, how he works, we got to spend time with him in his word. Amen. Number five, reading the Holy Bible allows us to be certain of what God says. Amen. We need to know the promises of God to us. And we also see that from the book of John chapter 17, verse 17. It says, sanctify them by truth. Your word is truth. God's word, Holy Scriptures, is truth because it is God. Amen. So, if you want to know the truth, then of course, you have to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And after believing, God will give you the new heart. You will be a new creation in Christ. The Holy Spirit will come in you. But you always have to repent of your sins and believe. Amen. Number six, reading the Bible also helps us to receive the desires of our heart. We see that from the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and shall be done unto you. Also talking about abiding and bearing fruits, I have a separate video about that which I'll link it down below so make sure you check that out. Reading the word of God also gives us courage. The book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 to 9 says, Keep this book of law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do whatever is written in it. But we also have to realize that some of the things were not written to us. They were written in certain time for certain people in Israel. But we learn from those things. Right? We cannot keep the law. That's why God sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ in this world to pay for our sins. And fulfill the law the law is good we see that in the book of Romans Apostle Paul explains to us the law the Ten Commandments these are good because through law we can come to know what is right and wrong right or sins and all but Jesus fulfilled that law and now all that we have to do is to put our faith in Christ because we are now saved by his grace not by our works amen but these verses also shows us that during those time God spoke to those people and prophets to meditate on his word day and night. In the same manner, if we meditate on Jesus, his words, his miracles, we are knowing more about God and his every day renewing our mind and strengthening us in his word. Amen. Reading the Bible also helps us to be fruitful, also helps us to understand the meaning of being fruitful, right? We see that also from the book of Psalms chapter 1 verse 2 to 3. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord? And who meditates on his law day and night. The, that person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruits in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do, they will prosper. Another reason for reading the Holy Bible is that it teaches us to imitate God because we are called to be Christ-like. To imitate God, to imitate Christ, what he taught us what he is willing for us to do. How will you know all these things? Yes, the Holy Spirit is inside you. But when you abide in the word of God, the Holy Spirit also helps you to understand and not only be a hearer, but the doer of that word. Last and the main reason behind why we should be reading our Bible every day is because reading the Bible is how we learn about the gospel, the good news. The gospel simply means the good news of Jesus Christ for what he has done. Amen. So the gospel is also found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 4, which says, Now I would remind you, this is Apostle Paul, you brothers, of the gospel preached to you, which you received, in which you stand, and by which you are being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain, for I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. So this is the full good news or gospel of Christ. That he died on the cross for us, for our sins. Then he was buried and he resurrected in three days. 
And when you read the word of God, that's how you understand his character, his nature, his miracles, everything he's done for us and whatever he is going to do next. The Holy Spirit will guide you. So always remember that we can do nothing to be saved, but only to put our faith in Christ and to grow in Christ every single day to understand God better and better. We have to abide in him. So we can also bear the fruits which God wants us to. When you are willing to share Jesus with somebody or the gospel of Christ, you have to be fully equipped knowing the word of God and what you're going to teach and preach and help them to understand who Christ is. I really hope this video encouraged you to pick up your Bibles and read it and more importantly to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ for what he has done. Amen. So I will see you all in my next video. Until then, you guys take care. God bless you all and stay rooted in Christ. Bye.